Hey guys, welcome back to my channel where this month I'm sharing with you some of our favorite recipes and favorite kitchen items. And today we are gonna make mashed potatoes. Now you're probably wondering why I'm sharing a recipe for mashed potatoes because everybody knows how to make mashed potatoes. I think in general, most people do, but we do a little something with our mashed potatoes. And so I thought I would share that. Everybody loves when I make mashed potatoes. The last person that ate them said after they had left or whatever, they told the person that they came with that that was the best mashed potatoes they had ever had in their entire life. And that they wanted more, but they didn't want to seem like a pig by going and getting more. I said the best compliment you can give anybody that makes you something is by going back and getting seconds or thirds or anything. And I'm not looking at anybody thinking anything when they go back and get second or thirds of food when I cook other than they must really like it. So I figured I would share this recipe with you. One thing I like with this recipe, they reheat really great. And in general, I personally don't feel like mashed potatoes reheat really well. These do. And I've had a lot of people comp compliment that as well. Like these reheated really, really well. For this recipe, I'm gonna make about two and a half pounds of potatoes. So about half a bag of a five, five pound bag of potatoes. And for this recipe, I went ahead, I've already peeled my potatoes, diced them. I have them cooking in the background, getting ready for us. And then we're also gonna use a stick of butter. We're gonna use half a block of cream cheese. If I was cooking the whole five pound bag of potatoes, I would do um, the whole block of cream cheese and most likely do a half a stick to another stick of butter in that as well. And instead of using salt and pepper, now you can add pepper if you like. I'm not a big pepper person, so I personally don't add pepper to this. But instead of regular salt, I use the Lowry's seasoned salt. I would tell you how much to put in here, but it's going to depend on your taste buds and how you like this. So I'll typically just shake and everything, um, and get it mixed together, and then I taste it to see, do I need more? Always start with less because you can add more. However, if you start with more, you cannot take it away. Keep that in mind. Start, start light because it is going to be stronger than regular salt. I'm going to go ahead and add a half a block of cream cheese and a stick of butter to my bowl. That way they can kind of go ahead and soften some and get more room temp. And then of course, once we drain the potatoes and pour the potatoes on it, that will kind of help them melt down too. All right, so we have the potatoes cooked and they're ready. I went ahead and drained them. You just want to cook these until they are fork tender, which means when they're boiling, if you put a fork in there, you can poke your potato pretty easily. If you have to give it any type of force when you cook your potatoes or when you're testing your potatoes, then you need to cook them a little bit longer. But once you can easily place a fork into it, into a potato, then you know that they're good and ready. If you do not cook your potatoes all the way, your mashed potatoes are gonna come out very thick and pasty. They're not gonna be smooth. Yeah, so I'm gonna pour these into these hot potatoes that have been drained into the bowl. And then I use a hand mixer to mash my potatoes. If you like to manually do it, you can do that. Um, you can put them in a KitchenAid mixer if you want to. Um, but I personally like the hand mixer the best. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. The cream cheese butter are already in the bowl. I'm gonna put the potatoes in and then I'm gonna slowly start adding salt. guys so we are done these turned out absolutely amazing um you did see i went back added a little bit more salt and now they're perfect so with the salt just kind of do a little bit taste them see if you like them and have a little bit more but thank you guys so much for watching today's video i hope that you have a great day if you try this recipe let me know down in the comments below what you thought of it and i will see you guys tomorrow bye guys